Hello everyone, welcome back to Navawa Vibes. How are we all doing today? Now, I hope we've been watching the videos. I hope you watched last week's videos. Remember, I still need the feedbacks, okay? Yes. Remember we've been talking about or we talking to the women, okay? And uh, remember last episode I said that we're not talking to women alone. Men can also gain from this. Whatever we're talking about, whatever we are dealing with right now also can be attributed to the men, okay? And remember the parable I made about uh, when uh, a parent is uh, uh, advising the children, or where parents advising the children, orphans who are willing to learn can learn from uh, such advice as well, okay? So, yes, I'm going to be referring to the women, okay? But I'm actually talking to all human beings, okay? Remember the first thing we talked about, and that is love yourself, yes. Love yourself, very important. I'm still going to emphasize it. You have to learn to love yourself. If you do not, if you, if you've not learned how to love yourself, every other thing I'm talking about is going to be useless to you. Okay. So yes, love yourself. Then remember what I said last uh, week, you are complete in yourself. Okay. You do not need a man to complete you. And today we are going to follow up with something that is very closely related to last week's uh, 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 topic. Okay. And that is one very simple fact now before I go into before I start off I know this may be coming a bit late to some people but such things are actually never late okay I deliberately said I wasn't going to rush and talk about it in the week where everybody was screaming over the death of the late uh, Osinachi, the wonderful gospel uh, singer. Okay, you know that period of her death, the, the everywhere was agog with uh, the, the the news of her death, especially as uh, the news of uh, her abuse, abusive marriage came out. Okay, so it was everywhere, and I just felt I I wanted that. Uh, 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 that thing to die down, okay? Let us let 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 us not approach this thing with that um, anger, you know, that eagerness as at that time, okay? So I gave it some time to arrive at where I am right now, okay? Now, before, funny enough, I've prepared all these long time ago before all these things came up. Remember when I talked about uh, the video of Love Yourself, I actually said that these things have been prepared for quite uh, some time now, okay? So it is not uh, Osinachi that brought some of these things I'm talking about. These are just uh, uh, lessons along the line for us to learn so that we can use them, okay, in preparing ourselves for these. Okay, so what I want to talk about is very simple. Marriage is not an achievement. Yes. Let me take it slowly. Marriage is not an achievement. Now, that's what a lot of people think, and that is why people have turned marriage into a do-or-die affair. Yes, marriage is not an achievement. Marriage is not a certificate. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a certificate that you can use to get a job or that you can use to make money. No, marriage is not an achievement, okay? Marriage is, yes, one of the milestones in life that you can cross if you want to, okay? But it is not an achievement like, if I don't get married, I have not fulfilled my purpose. No. Please, that is where most of us make you no know, a mistake. Okay, now that you're single does not mean that those who are married are better than you. Yes, growing up, I I saw some of these things growing up, and then I used to wonder. But now I understood full well that this thing is everywhere you know a lot of people, especially in this part of the world where i come from we have this thing of thinking that marriage marriage you see married men saying they cannot mix with their single friends anymore because they are now married okay it's it doesn't make any sense that you're married doesn't make you wiser that is the truth whatever uh, uh wherever you were before you got married that's the same way you will be you will only continue to grow older and wiser if you are willing to not because you are married okay or that you are single you will be stupid no in life generally as you grow older as you work on yourself 
you 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 get better and you grow wiser okay so do not think that because you are married that is why you are now wise <sighs> do not think because you are single your married friends are better than you no 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 it's very 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 important for us to note these facts okay so i've mentioned two things now the main thing being marriage is not an achievement the second one is that that you are married does not mean that you're, you're, you're that you're single sorry does not mean that your married friends are better than you okay then another thing i want us to note that or rather i want to sound a warning do not hold on to failed marriages just to keep up appearances yes some people have died in the process we saw the story of Fustinachi. I don't want to go into all the stories of how the church has failed us, how the kind of doctrines we preach. I don't want to go into all that. I want to talk to you as an individual because for me, that is the most important thing. I am a Christian and I know that the Bible tells me that I should work out my salvation with fear and trembling. The Bible did not tell me that I should tell my pastor to work out my salvation with fear and trembling. There is nowhere in the Bible that I am told that the Bible, that my pastors should be the one to interpret my Bible for me or that my pastors will become the Holy Spirit for me. So I'm talking to you as an individual. I'm not talking to the institution of, uh, of, uh, of I'm not talking to the church in this institution now. Or religious institutions I'm talking to you as an individual and I'm telling you not to hold on to failed marriages just to keep up appearances okay do not leave yourself live your life anyhow just because you want to keep up appearances you want to bear the name missus you want to wear a ring you want to have that privilege of, be of being called a married woman there is nothing to it I'm sorry to say forget that yes in this part of the world we carry it on our head now listen, before someone will misquote me, I am not saying marriage is bad. Please, marriage is a good thing. If you are privileged to be married to the right spouse, oh Jesus, your life will be here, heaven on earth. Yes, just as if you are single and you know how to take care of yourself very well, you know how to be happy, you can find fulfillment, you will live heaven here on earth. That's the truth. So also if you are married, to the right spouse, as in the spouse that there's, I've come to realize there's no right spouse, actually. It is the person who has built him or herself that becomes the right spouse, okay? So please, if you are married, if you have a good marriage, huh, marriage can be heaven on earth. That's the truth. Please do not, do not, do not think that by any means I am saying marriage is a bad thing. No, 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 no. Marriage is not a bad thing, but marriage is not a do or die affair and it is not an achievement. Okay. So if you are in marriage and it is not working, do not kill yourself. That's where I'm driving at. Okay. Do not think that, oh, you must be married at all costs. And so you take whatever it is you want to take. The other day, a friend of mine was talking, uh, after that, uh, uh, Osina Chi's death, uh, issue. And if a, a, a Facebook friend of mine, I keep referring to her many times, was talking about or told the story of an older friend of hers who, while she was uh, cutting, the, the friend was cutting her husband, she was her, like a close friend, the closest friend to her, and the husband used to pet them, take care of both of them. She noticed the signs at some point and warned the lady. The lady didn't listen. Oh, he adores me. He this, he that, he this, you know. And after marriage, before you know it, the man stopped her, made her sell her car, made her stop her job, told her to cut off her unmarried friends. Now that is one thing that, yes, there are a lot of men that do that, but there are a lot of women too who do it on their own, yes. A lot of men feel oh, they are married now. They don't have business with their unmarried friends. I don't know where we get some of these things from. It's actually baffling to me, okay? So for me, I want us to get that fact straight marriage is not the ultimate it's not a do or die affair the apostle paul that most will uh, uh, refer to as the most successful apostle in quote was not married he wasn't married yet he achieved a lot a lot of the things we refer to even when we're referring to marriages even when we're referring to remaining marriage no matter what it is still the same unmarried apostle paul that we usually make reference to I mean, what does that tell you? Okay? So marriage is not everything. That is what I want to drum in our ears today. I actually was planning originally to 
to to join last week's uh, uh, topic and this together but i realized that today's topic is not something you can join with something else it's very important i'm trying my best to limit it as much as i can but i'm very sure i've been able to pass the message across very well yes marriage is a good thing if you find the right person, if you go into the right relationship, oh, God, well and good. If you go into a relationship, and maybe it's not the right one, but together you are able to struggle to, you together you want it to work. You can actually make it work. That is the truth. But when you enter marriage and the other party doesn't want it to work, and the other party is stressing you and causing problems for you, I am begging you in the name of God, do not kill yourself. Do not kill yourself in trying to make that marriage work. Have the strength to walk out of such toxic relationships, okay? And the only way you can do that is realizing these simple facts. Marriage is not an achievement. You are not, your married uh, 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 as friends are not better than you because you are single. Marriage is not a do or die affair, okay? When you learn these simple facts, it will be easier for you to come out of toxic relationships. It will be easier for you to open your eyes wide while in a courtship so that you will know when things are not right and be able to know how to move away from that marriage. I remember a friend of mine, my I call her Mama Potts, you know, from uh, my uh, service uh, uh, days. She told me the story of the first man she was, should I use the word engaged to? I don't think what I really engaged. I, I can't remember that now. But I think he was asking her out, church members, you know, that kind of thing. And why did she pull away from me? Originally, she accepted him, but she changed her mind. Why? She saw the red flags. And what were they? They will come from, she's a giver. She is a giver. She is very good at giving. Oh my God. I don't want to go into the fact that... I don't want to go... Let me not go into that for time's sake. She's a giver. Just take it at that and believe me what I, when I say she's a giver. Okay? Now, she was... This man that was coming to her was a stingy person. Okay? Simple example. They will be coming from church. He has a car. Oh, ah, sister, ah, bro, let's carry her. And the man will be grumbling. Okay, he manages to carry her. The, the man uh, buys banana and they are eating banana. Oh, sister, can you take one? And the man is angry at her for giving out his banana. Okay, now this person is a giver and she wants to marry a man who is, who is, who, who, who is a stingy. It won't work. And she quickly ended the relationship. So that is it. Let us be wise. When we have these things at the back of our minds, it will be easier for us to walk out of relationships when we see that they will not work, okay? Instead of, oh no, I must get married at all costs. I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting old. I need to get married, okay? So please, my dear ladies, you don't have to get married to be complete okay you don't have to be married at all costs because you want to be happy okay marriage will not make you happy if you cannot be happy by yourself you will not be happy when you are married okay you can be with a man who loves you but because you've not discovered yourself you will be unhappy that is the plain truth okay like I said, this is a very long topic. I cannot continue. I have so many. I would have loved to put a lot, uh, say a lot of stories, you know, to portray every point that I'm uh, making, but I can't do that, okay? We will have to end it here. So, as usual, thank you once again for listening. Please, I would love your feedbacks. I cannot stop saying i would love your feedbacks okay i would also like your shares i would also like your likes let other people out there know about these things okay so thank you very much once again and as usual do have a lovely day